What's up, Libra? It's your girl, the Fly Empress. And I'm here to do you guys mid-month reading loves. How are y'all doing? I hope everybody is doing well. Remember that this will not resonate with every Libra sign. <clears throat> so only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. But this can resonate with your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Jupiter sign, okay? Um, also, you guys, this can resonate with your past, present, or your future. It depends on where you are at regarding your timeline. Also, you guys, for those of you who want a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, I will leave the link to my Google Calendar in the description below. Um, and for those of you who would like to purchase my Chosen Journey deck, I have two decks that's left at this time. So, um, I'll be restocking soon, okay, you guys? But let's go ahead and jump into this reading and see what Spirit is wanting for you guys to know for the mid-month of November to the end of November, okay? Let's see, Libra Spirit. Show me what I need to see. Say, okay, so we got go after your goals, persist, encouragement, advance. All right, so Libra, Spirit is saying that it's time for you to go after your goals, go after your dreams. You could be facing some type of resistance at this time. This could be outside forces, okay? You could feel like you got a lot against you. But Spirit is wanting for you to find your determination, your courage, to go after what it is that you want in your life, okay? Um, if you have been experiencing some type of blockages here, I feel like your ancestors are behind you, okay? You got your ancestors behind you that's fighting for you. Um, they're wanting to make sure you succeed in something. Some of you guys could be going back to school here. I'm kind of getting that energy. You could be going to the next level of your career. So you could have your um, certificate, your associates, or your bachelor's. You could be going to the next level here. Or there could be some type of advancement that's about to come in regarding your career. Yeah, some of you guys could be applying for a new position. Okay? Because I'm kind of getting like you guys becoming a leader here or a manager, a supervisor. Um, but with this line on this shield, I'm getting the energy you guys finding the fire, the passion, the drive to go after this. Spirit, show me what I need to see. We got balance yourself, direction, growth, and life stage. So you guys... There could be certain things that you're needing to balance here. You could have a lot on your plate, okay? You could be working a lot at this time. For some of you, you're raising children. Or for some of you, you can have kids that's grown, but they still need you for certain things. Or you can have children that's in college. Others of you, um, you could just have people who's pulling on your energy a lot or they're requiring a lot of your time. And I feel like you guys are needing to make some time for yourself. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> we got take time out, recharge, and rest. Sasista, Sasista. Some of you guys are needing to go to the spa or get like a spa treatment. Um... You might need to go on like a spiritual retreat or resort. I'm kind of getting the energy of you needing to recollect or regather your energy or your strength. Spirit could be calling for you to balance out your life, prioritize certain things, make sure um, that you're staying up on like time management so that you can get everything done. But I'm hearing don't overbook yourself or overwork yourself. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Libras. What else? Ancestor Spirit, guys, what do the Libras? Okay, we got answer the call. Explore, travel, and live. All right. Um, some of you guys, you could have um Vikings, okay, ancestors, Vikings, or I just heard Saxons. 
I'm, I am picking up some of you guys are very old souls. You could have been here before, okay? You could have been here in the medieval days. <laughs> I don't know why I'm kind of getting like war with these cards here. You could have had ancestors that, that was warriors. You could have this in your blood. But I'm getting the energy of them wanting for you to refocus. You're needing to refocus your energy. See clearly. Some of you guys are needing to travel more or get out more. You could be um, relocating. Some of you guys could be relocating. You could be relocating where it's a lot of water or you could stay close to a body of water. But I'm getting the energy of there could be a lot on you guys played at this time and your ancestors are calling for you to balance out your life more because it's like you're taking on more than what you need at this time. Are there certain things that it's not worth the fight? Okay. Some, some of you guys can have people who is wanting for you to fight for their attention or their affection. Um, but your ancestors are seeing this is not worth the fight. I just heard you hold the torch. So you, you could have came from a family that was very, um, I don't feel like this is everyone in your family, but for some of you guys, you could have problems with people in your family that want you to live a different life than what you're living or these could be people who's very bougie. I don't know why I'm kind of getting like bougie or arrogant. <clears throat> I feel like um, there is certain people that you guys are turning your back to because it's like they always bring war or drama into your life. Now this could be in the workplace as well. Yeah. Let's see, y'all. Some of you guys, you have a higher calling on your name. And you could have ancestors that's been trying to get you to answer a call here. But you could have been resisting this. Spirit Libras, mid-November. We got Pisces energy coming out. This car kind of came in sideways. Libras, your ancestors could be calling for you guys to balance out your emotions at this time or remove any type of negative thinking. Um, there could be a decision that you guys are needing to make, okay? You could be kind of indecisive or in your head about this decision. It's almost like you're at war with yourself. Um, I feel like there is a need for you guys to regain your confidence or learning to trust yourself. You could have a hard time trusting yourself or your intuition here. Spirit, show me what I need to see. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Pisces. Okay, y'all, we got the Ace of Swords and we got the Ace of Cups. So, yeah, I'm picking up, like, clarity, truth, victory. Some of you guys, you're about to receive a lot of messages here from your ancestors uh, regarding your purpose, your path. I feel like there is some type of communication that's coming in. And whatever message you guys are about to receive, this is going to help you balance out your life. It's going to help you redirect your life. Um to go more in a direction where it's a lot of love, okay, or it's a lot of love, self-care. Um, I'm picking up like a new chapter. This could be a new chapter regarding relationships, but it don't have to be just love relationships. This could be like regarding your workplace or family, friends, 
But I feel like there's definitely a new chapter that's coming in towards you. It's like spirit is coming in to remove the, the fog, the clouds, anything that was blocking your path so that you can see the truth, so that you can continue to excel in your life. But I am picking up for some of you guys. There's a true love that's about to come into your life. Others of you, you could find out that you're pregnant or somebody could be pregnant here. Yeah, we got sacral chakra coming out. I feel like you guys are definitely about to fall in, fall in love with something new, something different. This could be regarding your creativity or your career. But I am seeing a healthy relationship coming in towards you guys. But this could also be a healthy relationship with yourself, okay? With your mind, the way you think, the way you think about life. Something here is definitely changing. It's like, you guys, you could have always been in your head about certain things. But I'm picking up like you balancing out your um, mental self with your emotional self. Finding balance here. Not just being stuck in your head or being indecisive. I feel like you're going to make decisions off of true emotions or true intents. Okay, like, I'm almost getting the energy of you guys analyzing your life and realizing that you need to find balance in your emotions in certain areas. And it's like the more you balance out your emotions, the more you're spiritual discernment is going to get stronger or clear that's what i'm getting here some of you had a hard time trusting yourself or trusting relationships but i'm seeing you balance out your emotional center here you could be dancing more okay i'm kind of getting like dancing or expressing yourself you could be doing things that you haven't done in a while. I don't know why I just heard sip and paint. Some of you guys could be taking like sip and paint classes where you can paint and sip on some wine, okay? And I feel like this is going to help you open up your creative gifts, your spiritual gifts. Yeah, spirit. We got wounded warrior. Like I said, you guys, you done been through a lot. And like I said, I keep picking up on war. For some reason, y'all, you could feel you could have felt like you've been going through a battle for a long time. A lot of disappointments. Okay. A lot of tragedies. You could have lost a lot of people. Okay. I'm getting that energy as well. But um, you are persevering in your life. You're having the courage to move on, to keep fighting. We got the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. So, yeah, I'm picking up the more you guys balance out your emotions or your mental space. You're going to be able to reclaim your energy and your power. Some of you guys, you could be seeking... Um, <clears throat> You could be getting counseling at this time or therapy or there could be a friend or somebody you trust, somebody you can talk to. They could be helping you along the way. But I am seeing your ancestors come through with messages. You could be getting random messages like out of nowhere. Um, this could come across on a billboard or while you're driving on a tag or a bumper sticker. Um, I'm kind of getting like random. Okay. Messages are going to come through very clear. And we got Scorpio. All right. Some of you guys, um, you can have a Scorpio that's coming into your life. Or there could be a Scorpio here that can help you in some type of way. Woman or a man, take it how it resonates. But I'm hearing, I keep hearing discernment. Discernment. Spirit, show me what I need to see. We got guardian angel, you guys. There could be some type of truth that's about to come in regarding a Scorpio or some type of love offer here. And I feel like your guardian angels are making sure that this person comes to you or they're going to make sure you and this person meet. 
some of you guys this scorpio could be an entrepreneur they could have their own business um spirit could be calling for some of you guys to collaborate with someone here or somebody is wanting to work with you but like i said a lot of messages signs and synchronicities are going to be coming in here i just heard 414 555-1010. I do feel like you guys got a guardian angel here that's calling for you to heal or focus on your sacral chakra. And this is going to um, give you the energy you need, okay? Or you will be able to answer your calling once you balance out this sacral chakra. Some of you could be getting like Reiki healing, okay? Or you could be doing like a yoga class. I'm kind of picking up on that energy as well. Let's see, y'all. See what else we can get. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Libras. What do they need to know? Show me what I need to see for the Libras. We got manifest. Okay. Your desires are within reach, you guys. Yes, Spirit is calling for you guys to call back your energy at this time. Okay. We are in a very high manifestation period in our life. Anytime you're going through a death, there is a rebirth. So I'm picking up on the energy of you guys doing this the right way or reclaiming or regaining your energy here to go after your goals. Because it, it's like you realize you was going the wrong way, okay? Um, you could have made a decision here, but it's like you realize you was going the wrong way. And Spirit is calling for you to make a U-turn. Something could be coming in around New Year's, you guys. There could be a love offer that's going to be coming in here. We also got Christmas. So, you guys, between New, New Year's and Christmas, there could be a love offer that's going to be coming in towards you. Okay? Somebody is wanting to manifest you. But I'm also picking up, like, you guys are manifesting here as well. But we got apology. This is coming out regarding sacral chakra. So somebody is wanting to come in and apologize to you or make things right. This could have been somebody you was in a relationship with. It don't have to be. But for a lot of you guys, that's what I'm picking up. I know y'all probably don't want to hear it. Um, but yeah, somebody is trying to come back into you guys' life. This person want to start over. Okay, we got growth. So I'm seeing you guys manifest growth, change, a new direction. Um, there's something that you're ready um, to change regarding your life. And for some of you guys, this is definitely regarding love. Okay. Some of you guys could have had a hard time trusting people again, especially if you already done been hurt by certain people here. But I feel like you're not giving up. You're not going to give up. Um, you're focusing on giving yourself a better life here. And I am picking up like something here is about to grow in your life. That's what I'm getting. And some of you guys, this is what you're creating. You could be creating something at this time. Our spirit has been calling for you to create. I feel like you're about to take some type of action here. Okay, here, what else? We also got behind the scenes coming out. So I feel like you guys behind the scenes, your ancestors been telling you, you've been going the wrong way as well. Some of you guys, you're about to do something behind the scenes here. Okay, you could, um, this could be regarding you acting. Okay, or some of you guys, you're about to get in front of the mic. I don't know why I'm getting microphone. Or you're needing to use your voice here. Yeah, because this is coming in under the Ace of Swords. Some of you guys, you're meant to be like a public speaker, okay? Or you're meant to speak. 
Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Libras. Yeah, a lot of you guys are self-reflecting at this time. Self-reflecting over your life. Um, you might not be talking to a lot of people or you're keeping a lot of things to yourself. But I am picking up like you're receiving guidance here from someone. Now, this could be indirectly or directly. Okay, like I said, some of you could be getting counseling or therapy. But I'm also kind of picking up like... You guys receiving information from different people like this could be on like youtube or there could be certain things you're looking up to work on issues in your life but i am seeing like you guys finding out the remedy or the cure it's like you're about to get clarity about what's been going on in your life this might have been something you guys really didn't want to face or see but it's like you're realizing that this is the truth. <clears throat> and a lot of you guys are leaving this behind. You're about to leave something behind that has definitely been keeping you stuck, okay? It's been keeping you from moving on or traveling. Um, I don't know why it's kind of, it's like whatever this energy is, it's been keeping you in like a bubble or keeping you from your true happiness. Some of you guys was needing to learn a um you you was needing to learn a lesson from a relationship here. And I feel like you're about to self-reflect over this. A lot you have learned from this situation. But um this is giving me the energy of you guys leaving this behind. Some of you guys could be traveling for the holidays. Okay, I'm kind of getting that energy too. You could be losing weight for the holidays and traveling. Okay, I'm getting that. For New Year's or Christmas, y'all could be um, getting like a round ticket here, especially if you tra traveling by air, by plane. Um, but I feel like you're needing this. We also got romantic thoughts. So I do see somebody having romantic thoughts and feelings about you. This person wants to come in and apologize. Um, some of you guys are going to let your guard down so you can hear what this person got to say. It's, and I'm hearing it's because you might need closure. Some of you guys are needing closure from somebody who betrayed you, hurted you, walked out on you. Um, somebody you was truly in love with. You might um, decide to let this person come in and say what they got to say so that you can get your so you can get closure this person could come in after the holidays or during the holidays anything else spirit we got cleanse so i feel like you guys are removing anything that um you've been holding on to energetically especially regarding the love sector okay you're about to cleanse this out because it's like you're realizing that you could be basing relationships on false illusions, like certain things that you done been through. You could feel like love is a lie or I'm kind of getting the energy of really not trusting people when it comes to relationships. Um, you're about to remove this energy here. Something is going to come in. And it's going to offer you the closure you need in order to heal your sacred chakra. Okay. Yeah. What else, spirit? Show me what I need to see for the Libras. What's coming in mid-month November for the Libras? Okay. So we got the five of cups. This came out in reverse. So you guys, I'm picking up like you guys are healing here. You're about to heal from something, okay? And I do feel like this has been like an uphill battle. I feel like you're releasing um, the pain. I keep picking up on a lot of pain. I feel like you guys are trying to regather your strength at this time. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio or a Leo here. But there is a major cycle that's changing in your life. And I feel like this is a welcome change. You're ready for this change because this change that's coming in is going to bring a lot of growth, a lot of abundance, a lot of new beginnings, 
a lot of um, solid connections here. I'm also seeing you guys connect to your um, your your animal spirit guides. You're going to be connecting to your animal spirit guides. Some of you could definitely have a lion, okay, as a spirit guide. You could also be um, going to the park more. Look at this, y'all. We got a lion, and we got a lion here. And then we also got the Queen of Wands, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But with the Queen of Wands, I don't know, I always get like lion energy off of the Queen of Wands. So I feel like your energy is about to be restored. And it's because you guys are getting up the strength to face your past, face your fears, face your pain, okay? Or anything that's been holding you back. I do feel like you guys are about to create something or you're about to travel, adventure, excitement. You're ready to have fun again. Enjoy life. I feel like you guys have been reflecting over this as well. You could have realized that I just heard the thrill was gone. It's like your thrill for life was gone, okay? Something here had definitely depleted you. But I'm seeing you guys regain your power, your energy. I'm seeing you rise like the phoenix. But somebody is definitely reflecting over you. Some of you guys was dealing with a Virgo here. Somebody is reflecting over you at this time, okay? Some of you, you can have like red hair or blonde hair. Um, I just heard um, Albany, Al Albany, Autumn. <laughs> some of you guys could have dyed your hair blue or somebody could have blue hair here. Um, but I am seeing like, you not looking the same or something about you is changing. <clears throat> Somebody been reflecting over you guys a lot. We got the Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like this person is wanting to come in and um, talk to you. Somebody want to talk to you. But this person been very slow to do this. Um, it's like they know, you know, that they done betrayed you in the past. Yeah, we got the Two of Cups. Something did not work out in the past. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. They know what they did to you. But it's like they're trying to find the strength to talk to you. Okay? I feel like this person haven't been able to get you off of their mind. Or this is somebody who... um, It's like spirit has been placing it on this person hard here. Or forcing this person to think about you. Okay? <clears throat> we got the... <clears throat> excuse me y'all we got the queen of cups here so i'm seeing you guys go through a major healing regarding relationships love especially yeah spirit what else it's the source it's the truth you're about to have the clarity you need regarding relationships i'm also hearing regarding work I'm also seeing that you guys are working on balancing out your life, okay? Especially when it comes to work and self-love, self-care. You could spend more time working than enjoying your life. You're getting the clarity you need about this, okay? <clears throat> we got the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> mm. We got the Nine of Swords coming out. So somebody is um, definitely in their head about you. Um, this person ain't sleeping well. And with the High Priestess here, y'all can know this. You can know this person ain't sleeping well. Or you can know that there is someone reflecting over you. You can know this person want to come back and heal things with you. Or want to talk to you. But I feel like... You're keeping your peace or you're you're not going to be the first one to say something. You're letting this person come to you. If they want to say something to you, you're going to let them be in that position to do that. Because I'm kind of picking up like something is not your fault. Whoever is to blame here needs to be the one that come forth. Okay. But with the high priestess being here, I feel like you guys know that this person is wanting to come back into your life or they're wanting to come back and talk to you. 
but they've been taking their time. They've been dragging their feet here. I'm also seeing you guys realize that you're needing to cut a cord. There's a cord that you guys are needing to cut here regarding someone in your life. And they could definitely feel if you decide to cut this cord. Yeah. So, you guys, that's what I got. Um... <laughs> Some of you guys was dealing with a Gemini. We got Gemini, Pisces energy. But <laughs> I'm seeing this person stressed out about you, okay? Because for a lot of you guys, I feel like this person didn't use their intuition when it came to you or they made a bad decision. They weren't listening to their intuition and now this person is sitting in a, a lot of regrets. But I am picking up life with some of you. You're going to end up hearing from this person. Okay. So, you guys, that's what I got. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. If y'all did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. But until we talk again later, I love y'all so much.